Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're just gonna make some music. Have fun. I just came up with an idea in my head and I quickly put it into FL Studio and here we are. Let's continue working on it and we'll see what happens. By the way, I have a new track coming out today. It's linked down in the description. It's a remix I did for the Swedish band Northlight. And as usual, if you want to get the sounds that I use to create whatever I'm about to create, make sure to head over to the link in the description to my website. Thanks for all the support. Let's get right into it. All right, so here's what I quickly put together before. I just wanted to make something happy, a bit more poppy maybe. Uh, maybe we'll record some vocals, do some cool little um, distorted vocal melodies, kind of like Mesto did in uh, Looking Back. Uh, it's something like that that I'm going for, like noted kind of modern pop vibes. So where do we go from here? Let's put some distortion on this. And a bit of OTT and take down the highs. And we'll put a wave shaper at the top as well before the blood overdrive because these are two different types of distortions. I'm gonna kind of ignore the, the, the rest of the layers because I just put them in there to sort of uh, remember my, my idea. So we're gonna make a simple drum beat. I know what kick I want. I know my own sample pack inside out. I want this kick because it's kind of acoustic sounding and that's sort of the vibe that I'm going for. Lower the gain a little bit. Uh, let's put a kickstart on the um, on the guitar as well. Yeah, sounds really nice. And let's uh, let's find some claps for the drums. Maybe this one. That sounds really nice. I want this to be super super crispy, crispy. So I'm gonna add a little bit of sound geyser. That's a lot better. Maybe a tiny bit of reverb. Some stereo imaging. That sounds really nice to me. That sounds really nice to me. And I think, honestly, this sound could work really well. It's the chill vibe chords from the silent sound bank. Let's add uh, some OTT and some sound geyser. And then we dial it back again with some uh, EQ. I'm gonna try out uh, Valhalla Vintage Verb. Valhalla Vintage Verb sounds really nice, and I'm gonna create an automation clip for that, as well as add a kickstart to these chords, so that we have them sidechained. Very important. Alright, so just something like this, maybe? Yeah, let's uh, let's let's start there. Maybe if we gave this some more course and automated the cutoff. Yeah. All right, that sounds nice. I increased the BPM to 104 instead of 100. I don't know. I think I want some uh, some punch to the to the sub actually. So MHA Serum Volume One. Link in the description. Yeah, that has a little bit of punch to it. Now we have some more movement in the su in the sub bass, but I want more more kind of bass bassy stuff. So I think I'm gonna use uh, use this classic bass in contact. I just have the free version; it's included there. Go check it out if you want to. <laughs> Gonna put some OTT on that, uh, maybe some sound geyser as well, and then again tame it back with uh, with some EQ. So let's copy the sub bass just so we have something to work with. Go into this. Something like that probably. That uh, blood overdrive sounded really good on on there. Alright, yeah, that sounds uh, 
it sounds like we're getting somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna put some some white noise here at the very start. We need to bring some more life to this uh, guitar, I think. Let's pan it like to the left and right. Ooh, maybe for some texture, let's add a clock. Yeah, that's nice, actually. God damn. What if we do this? Yeah, just have that really quiet in the background. All right, what's next? Strings. Strings can never go wrong in a track like this. I love, I love flex. Flex strings is great. Let's bring the highs up a little bit on the strings with an EQ. A bit more with the OTT. Let's record this. Edison. Uh, normalize, drag it out. And reverse it. Let's see what this sounds like. Nice! I'm gonna record some of my own, like, just... Uh, singing like vocal stuff and uh, we're gonna process that and see what we get if we get some cool results uh, all right that was cringe but uh <laughs> well let's uh let's run it here put some wave shaper on there some ott uh some little altar boy uh maybe some vintage verb again <laughs> sounds like Pingu or something. It's also a little bit out of key, so I don't know, it sounds really funny. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's just cut out all the pieces that's, that sound good. Let's see, maybe this doesn't work, like I... It's just an idea that I had. So now we have this, which I think sounds pretty good, actually. I'm just going to mute uh, a couple of stuff to show you. And we still need to process these so that they fit well into the mix, so that they have a purpose. Because right now they're very, like, they're a little bit too dull. It doesn't sound like a main lead or anything. Let's see if maybe we can't add something to like aid the vocal uh, lead. Because I'm not sure what we should do in terms of processing to make it stand out a little bit more. But maybe we can add some plucky sort of sound to sort of amplify the, the sound. My immediate thought is just uh, the guitar lead in the serum bank. There it is. Just gonna turn off delay and reverb instantly. Yeah, you know what? Maybe. Maybe we can make this work. Alright, I'm gonna add some fields and stuff to sort of make the flow of the track feel more natural, and then we can move on to, to continuing on the lead, maybe. So this drum fill is uh, normally for 128 BPM, but when I stretch it, it sounded really good, actually. Works really well. Let's see uh, if we have any percussion. Let's uh, let's link these to another channel. Gonna make them not as boomy. Blood overdrive, maybe. Nice. These percussions sounded really, really great. I think that the the overall track is a little bit too reverby. If we give it some more release in the synth and then tone the the reverb down, maybe. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, this is starting to sound really good uh, to me. Not finished, but it's starting to sound good. Let's see if we can find anything else that will uh, make the lead sound better. I'm thinking mainly of some kind of pluck. 
yeah, that one worked surprisingly well. All right, so I added in total three additional uh, layers to the main vocal lead kind of thing. We have this guitar lead. This pluck called Tick. And this pluck called Wind. They just have a little bit of Wave Shaper and a little bit of Vintage Verb on them. And now I realize I need to EQ this as well. Just look at this. You don't want that. That's gonna ruin the mix. So together with the lead, it sounds like this. All right, I'm really liking this. Let's uh, let's just add some some hi hats to, to the second part. I think it sounds pretty good. I think it sounds pretty good. Uh, let's see if there's anything else organic we can we can add. Let's check guitar sessions. Ooh, I think we have some nice. Some nice sounds like this that we could use. I'll just add these to give some extra punch here in the beginning. It's just this little guitar. Man, I'm just I'm just putting random guitar samples everywhere, like. Ooh, let's put this slide here. Ooh, all right. So this guitar loop. I think we could use some parts of this. What the frick? I'm overhyped about this. I feel like I could continue just to add stuff forever, but I don't know when is when is too much stuff, you know? Can there be too too much stuff? See, this is the way I intended for the guitar pack to be used, and I feel like I haven't used it that much. I mostly just add some top loops or or something from the starter kits. Just like chopping it up and stuff is what it, I like I really imagined this being used for. What the weather All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I think this sounds pretty cool. It obviously needs some more work, but like for uh, for just a little, you know, sit down session, having fun playing around, I think this turned out really good. I think it sounds pretty good, actually. Again, a disclaimer, obviously this is not a finished track. Also, don't steal this, please, because I've had people literally taking videos from my YouTube channel, going onto, like, YouTube to MP3 websites or whatever, sending these tracks to labels, getting them released on Spotify. Just don't do that. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm gonna be making a rant video about that sort of stuff soon as well, so, yeah. Stay tuned for that video. It's gonna be a very, very happy one. No, but in all seriousness, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. I think mainly what it needs is, uh, is more of a clear direction in the drop, because there's a bit of a, like, there's too much stuff going on. Also, the melody could be improved on. This is definitely one of those tracks that I could see my Myself finishing and uh, and releasing so let me know down in the comments if you guys would want that don't forget to check out my new track today uh, it's out now on spotify every music store whatever if you want to support me and this channel head over to mhamusic.com get some fresh sample packs and sound banks that is by far the best way to support this channel vital sound bank coming soon stay tuned for that what else is there i have so much stuff going on um i'm uh, i'm so happy that you guys watch my videos i i truly appreciate that from the bottom of my heart with all that being said i wish you guys a fantastic fantastic weekend and I will see you again on Friday. Bye bye.